Okay, last time we were talking about modulus and how important they were. And today we're going to talk about something called modular exponentiation. And let me write that out for you. Modular exponent. Sometimes it's called a power mod. What does all this mean? It means, for instance, uh, if you wanted to do 5 I'll say 5 to the 3rd mod 7. That's what a power mod is. Uh, who cares? We can do this. 5 to the 3rd. 5 times 5 times 5. That's 125. Mod 7. And that just means we divide 7 into 125 and get the remainder. So 1, 7, 5, 5, 7, 49, 6. So we have a remainder of 6. Okay, so this is equal to 6. And there you have it. That could be the end of the lesson. Except for the following two things. One is, who cares? And the one answer I'll give is, in public private key encryption, public key encryption, um, especially in the RSA algorithm, this power mod thing is used all the time. So we've got to do it quickly. Furthermore, the numbers we use can be very long, one or two hundred digits. And so if you can imagine even doing five to the, say, one hundred, mod seven, this is not, you know, the exponent is 100, 100 digits, only 3 digits. But if you did this by hand, it would take you forever because you'd have 5 times 5 times 5, 100 times. Forget it. So, how can we do modular exponentiation quickly? So, let's try something like this. How about 5 to the 40th mod 7? And here is the it's a simplified version, but it's the essential algorithm for doing this. It's very cool. You start with the same base 5, start with 1, mod, and then the same modulus. And you can do that in your head. 5 mod 7 is just 5. And then you do the base again. Double the exponent. Double 1 is 2, mod 7. All right, we'll just do that in our head. 25 divided by 7 is 3 with a remainder of 4. Double the exponent. 5 to the 4 mod 7. And now we get to use some of the um, theorems about modular numbers that we learned. And in particular, since 5 to the 4th is the square of this, we also know that 5 to the 4 mod 7 is the square of this mod 7. That is to say, this is this number, 4 squared mod 7, which is 16 mod 7. 7 into 16 goes 2 times for the remainder of 2. Double the exponent, 5 to the 8 mod 7. And again, 5 to the 8 is just the square of this. So we just have to take this previous value, which is 2, square it, mod 7, and we get 4. And then uh, 
five to the let's see, let's go a little bit here. Double the exponent, five to the sixteen mod seven. We take the previous value, which is four, squared, mod seven. Is sixteen mod seven is two. You see the two four two means we're gonna repeat, so we don't really have to do much work, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Five to the thirty-two mod seven. Take the previous value two square mod seven and you get four. And now we can stop here. If we go back and look, we kept doubling the exponents. If we doubled it again, we get 64, which is more than 40. So that's how we know when to stop. So what we're going to do is multiply these together to get 5 to the 40th. Well, when you multiply things with the same base, you add the exponents. So which of these exponents add to 40? Well, you go over here and you say 40. Let's see, we're going to need a 32. And that leaves 8. And then another exponent here is 8. Minus 8 is 0. So we only need this one and this one. That is 5 to the 40 is 5 to the 32 times 5 to the 8. Because of the laws of uh, modular stuff, 5 to the 32 mod 7 times 5 to the 8 mod 7 is 5 to the 40 mod 7. So therefore, 5 to the 40 mod 7 is this, which is 4 times 5 to the 8 is 4 mod 7, which is 16 mod 7, which is 2. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. 5 to the 40 mod 7 is 2. And no calculator, nothing. And who the heck would want to do 5 to the 40? And the final thing I'll say is the number of rows here is really the log base 2 of the exponent. So, for instance, log base 2 of 40 is, uh, what, about 6, roughly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, you know, plus or minus 1. But you see, even if we had a 100-digit number, if this exponent here were 1 Google, then you'd have log base 2 sorry log base 2 of a google which is 10 to the 100 which is 100 times log base 2 of 10 well 2 to the 3rd is 8 2 to the 4th is 16 so it's log base 2 of 10 is between 3 and 4 so this is less than 100 times 4, or 400. In other words, if this exponent had 100 digits, we would only need 400 rows. We wouldn't want to do it by hand, but for a computer, hey, what's 400 rows? So because it's so fast to do modular exponentiation, we're able to do the RSA algorithm quickly as well.